right, here we are at the self-regenerating power box and kit. Kit. Uh, it comes uh, in the box, of course, with a DC control panel. Uh, of course, it has light, light gauges. Of course, lights on the on the side of the power box. You have an extra switch here for whatever you may want to connect to it, uh, as far as stereo systems so on and so forth. This has a DC power port. It also has a cigarette lighter uh, for smokers or to start a campfire or something of that nature. Also has a DC to AC inversion here. Uh, and then of course you have your power cell which is a, a glass mat uh, sealed battery. And of course here we have a battery switch, key switch. And you turn on the, the switch and of course that would power up the uh, inverter. Now the inverter is uh, activated and we'll kind of give a little demonstration here with uh, using a AC power device. Uh, and of course your DC is, uh, is being run by the, the uh, direct current and this will be alternating current. And now the board, which we just plug right into the uh, inverter and it's ready to go. It's just a uh, regular chainsaw, electric, uh, which would be great for uh, storms, uh, things like that. You can have in your truck, of course, or, or, or RV, or you can put it in uh, any kind of uh, SUV, uh, Explorer, things of that nature. Uh, this can go in the back. It can be behind the seat of some king cab trucks, uh, this, this kind of thing. And this connects to the alternator of the vehicle, and uh, as you drive, of course, it charges uh, the power cell. Uh, that, uh, that would also power the unit. Now also uh, these systems come with a key switch and timer if you like uh, that would automatically crank your vehicle up. Uh, let's say if you're using this system for a long period of time uh, you might be using an RV, you may be using it uh, let's say uh, on a campsite or something of that nature. Uh, it would crank the vehicle up uh, whatever time you want to set it for, say every couple of hours, every three hours, every five hours, depending on how much power you're being used. Uh, you could actually start the uh, vehicle by having it on a timer system. It would start the vehicle run it for as long as you wanted, say 20 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, and let it recharge the power cell. Uh, and then you would actually, uh, it would actually cut itself back off. So. Uh, if you were using air condition, things of that nature, and it's, you're running it off this power cell, of course, you want to be able to charge it back up and keep the power coming. When the vehicle cranks up, of course, uh, the alternator now will supply power directly to uh, the inversion system uh, and also recharge uh, the power cell. So, uh, and as soon as it's charged, uh, by a period of time, it would cut off, and then uh, you're ready to go again. It's still using the power and, and continuously feeding you power. So you never, you never run out. All right, uh, we're back at the uh, self-generating power box kit and kit, and I wanted to mention that, of course, it comes in a box. This is one of the boxes it would come in, and of course, it can come in. Uh, we have some smaller boxes, and we have larger boxes uh, that it can come in, and uh, that can be based on what you would like to have the system installed in. We can do that for you, and we have some that are already pre pre-made, so they'd be various sizes and for various vehicles. Uh, but you can take uh, these systems, and let's say this this uh, DC control box can come out of the box that's just sitting in right now. This is just sitting in here, uh, and it can be mounted, and you can operate it from inside the box, or this can be mounted outside the box, and it can be mounted right here, uh, where if this is in, say, an SUV uh, on the sidewall panel, you could have uh, access to all the DC controls, so on and so forth. Uh, the inverter is inside the box. We also have uh, power boxes that would this would plug into and mount outside, so you'd have a, a, uh, a safety plug on the outside of the box if you want as well. And we, some of our boxes will have that, uh, and they do come in the kits, so if you wanted to mount them on the outside of the box, you can. Uh, they come in the box uh, when they're shipped out, but uh, you know if you want to basically mount any of this on the exterior of the box, or you might want to put it in another box, or you may want to even take it out of this box altogether and have it mounted. Uh, some vans, uh, you know, they have uh, uh, tool panels and so on and so forth. You may want to install these these uh, systems uh, along that wall panel, and which I've done in some vans as well, and I can demonstrate that later. But uh, 
Anyway, we'll demonstrate how this works. Uh, it's, it's very universal, and there's a uh, uh, hundred different ways in which you could use this, and uh, uh, very beneficial. All right, now I'm demonstrating, uh, then again, the uh, self-generating power box and kit. Uh, and this is, uh, it comes in the box, of course, along with the uh, inverter and the, the uh, uh, deep cell uh, battery, the power source. Uh, but I want to demonstrate how you can uh, take this out of the box, basically, by just disconnecting it from the power cell. And this is portable, of course, and, and uh, it connects directly to the, the battery switching and then to the inverter. But uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to mount this on the exterior of the box, uh, like this. And I'll demonstrate uh, this uh, connected to the box this way. 